day, day two on this crystal pocket dig. I'm gonna call it a day since it's it's raining. Nobody's coming out here today, and I just busted myself the hammer. Got my pinky between the hammer and the rock. Anyways, this thing's a lot bigger than I thought. Um, I busted this hole open a bit more. Um, it's pretty, uh, and I scraped it get pretty good in there. Or, I mean, I... Anyways, that goes way back, and there's a tunnel that connects from here to here. Uh, it seems, come on, rain's fucking up. focus there we go so this is all like agate and crystal everywhere uh, it's all the outside of this thing you can see some good crystal right there anyways uh, yeah Come on. I took a small piece in today to the Crater Rock Museum. I brought in an agate that I found close to here, close to this hole. And, uh, man, it goes back there pretty far. But, uh, this is Medfordite, this green with the quartz on it on the outside, and then, of course, quartz crystals on the inside. Medfordite, uh, depending on the grade, can fetch anywhere from 25 cents a pound, which even at that, this is a couple hundred bucks, but uh, all the way up to twenty dollars a pound, uh, if there's good crystal clarity, clarity in the in the quartz and good bright greens, and what I'm seeing here is spots like that, right there. That's the kind of stuff you want to see, according to the guy at the shop I stopped at. Um, and the green, I mean, right here is lime green, pretty much. I mean, but the dark green hue said rich. That's some rich, rich, rich green, so. Which he said is zinc and manganese, uh, not copper in these parts. But, uh, man, the rain sure doesn't help. Um, I've been up here for a couple hours now digging on this. All of this was uh, covered and bedrock, there's a very uh, decomposed seam in here that surrounds this thing. So that's what I attack until these bigger rocks, I can chip them out. Um, but this whole thing was a rock, except for one little hole right here uh, that had water coming out. And I dug and I followed it. I found these crystals in there. Um, this thing, I've heard of these things being huge. Um, I'm trying to just expose the top of it, but it seems to end about here and about here and it kind of goes straight down Right here. It seems to go down straight down back there. I have no idea I reached my arm almost all the way up in here I pulled a bunch of roots out from this tree up here from this little shrub um, I mean it goes back this cavity at least uh, a foot back uh, from right here it's a tunnel there. I mean, you can't really uh, see that far back there. I don't know what I'm looking at there on the screen in the center, that uh, white thing, if it's a root or what, but isn't that beautiful? But 
I'm gonna, I already got everything in the bucket. Let me get this done here. I've heard of this kind of thing taking weeks uh, to do. And uh, I'm just hoping that I can do that and have nobody take it, you know, uh, come in here and pull it out after I've done all the hard work. Um, that'd be a shame. But, uh, man, all this water on the screen. Can't, can't, uh, it doesn't register when I touch it. Anyways, there we go. So, I mean, here's a, uh, I mean, that opening I made is as big as my foot. I could stick my foot in there if I, you know, pretty much. Um, and it's all that same kind of crystal. I got some when I uh, broke apart the... When I made that opening a little bigger, I collected all those pieces uh, that I broke out. And I got to clean them up. I'll post a video of that. But uh, from what I can tell, these are some pretty nice uh, crystal clusters here. Um, you know, some, some more bubbly ones. Here's a flatter one. Um, it's very nice. This one right here. I mean, you can't, if you don't know what you're looking at, you would just think these are muddy rocks. But anyways. Uh, down at the bottom of the hill is my truck. It's pretty far down there. Uh, but uh, I got this cat, Nugget. Nugget, kitty, kitty. You ready to go? She walked all the way up here with me. And she just hung out. Bleeding still. Um, so. Hopefully she'll follow me back down to the truck. I think she's done with the rain. That's why she's staying under that bush instead of hunting for birds. Most of the birds hunkered down. Uh, it's the rain's here. And my little nugget. My little nugget. My little nugget. I found her about a week ago. She was hanging out in front of a Dairy Queen for a week or so. Nobody, just people feed her, but nobody took her, took her in. So I took her and she's living in my truck with me. She goes on walks and knows her name and uses the litter box and everything. She's a pretty cool cat. So, anyways, I'm um, rambling on because I don't want to quit, but I am. Good enough reason I smashed my finger and it's raining. So, next time I come up here tomorrow or something, whatever, I'll put up a tarp between that bush and use some string and put it up between that bush and I'll just cover my dig area. I got tarp in a truck. I could just do that right now, but don't feel like it. So, anyways, hope you guys like it. Have a good day. Um, if you're a rock hound, happy hounding. Hope you uh, find something like this. Read about uh, searching for crystal pockets. And go to some place where you've found crystals before. And, uh, and maybe you'll find something like this.